Hi, I'm Akshay Bhargava. If you are an investor in equity markets, you know how hard it is to get good quality investment information. If you're an investment bank or a hedge fund, you can solve this problem by hiring a team of quant analysts, but that is not possible for a normal investor. We solve this problem for you by using artificial intelligence to look at millions of data points, performing hundreds of thousands of computations every day and bringing you very high quality information in an easy to understand way. I would like to take the next few minutes to tell you a little bit more about our product, Investor AI. The app is called Investor AI. It is available from the Play Store or the App Store. If you click on it, you will immediately go to your dashboard. Uh, but before I go further, let me just show you how to set it up. It's really easy. You go into uh, the menu, click on your preferences. You'll see a wide choice of different exchanges and markets. I've selected UK and US, uh, so we'll leave it that way for the moment. I've selected a number of sectors, and uh, again, you know, we won't, I won't make any changes. And uh, that's really it. And once you're set up, you go back. And uh, before I show you anything more, let me start with what we call Play. It's one of our most popular features. Um, it's fun. It's you know, you, You'll see why in a moment. Uh, Play allows you to compare one company with another. So let's pick a company. Uh, let's start with Tesla because it's a very topical stock. And what now the, the spider chart is showing you a comparison of Tesla with S&P 500 on six criteria. And as you can see, Tesla does very well on historic performance and future outlook and not very well on others. If you look at valuation, Tesla doesn't score very highly. And that is because it's a very expensive stock. And we know that. Uh, it also gives you a numeric comparison because it converts everything or normalizes everything on a 0 to 20 scale where 20 is best and uh, 0 is worst. You could say that no, Tesla shouldn't be compared to S&P 500. It's a car, car company, so you compare it to the auto sector. And you see a comparison that's not very different. When it gets really fun is when you say, I want to compare Tesla to a competitor. Now, who is Tesla's competitor? Now, if it's a car company, you could say General Motors. And uh, if you pick General Motors, you then see the comparison where Tesla is better on historic performance and future outlook, a little bit better on capital structure. Uh, but uh, analysts like uh, GM a lot better. GM has a lot cheaper stock, so it does very well on valuation. You could take the view that, no, 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 Tesla is not a car company. It's actually a technology company. And then uh, I want to compare it to Apple. So you can compare it to Apple. Uh, and uh, you then see a very different comparison. Uh, and Apple is also an expensive stock, but in relative terms, not as expensive as Tesla. Uh, but clearly, Apple is better on many fronts uh, than, than Tesla. So it's fun, it's visual, it's engaging, but most importantly, what is happening is, as I'm playing with it, the app is learning about me. When I put in Tesla uh, and General Motors, it sort of increased my weightages on the auto sector. When I compared it to Apple, it's added technology to my interest. So, you know, it really begins to learn through my behavior. And these behavior analytics are really important in terms of sharpening uh, the, the ideas that we come up with. So talking of ideas, let's go to Ideas Corner. You'll see the bulb at the bottom. If I go to Ideas Corner, it shows me investment ideas, which are meant for the long-term buy-and-hold investor, trading ideas, which are meant for the shorter-term investor, and predictive signals that are meant for the technically-minded uh, traders. I'll show you just two or three of them. Uh, let me go to Alpha 330, which, as the name suggests, targets a 3% return within 30 days. Um, this is really a smart algo, working at very, very high levels of accuracy. But let me just show you. So this is what it's shown me, uh, and uh, I, I can sort and filter in any way. I can choose, show me invasive returns, 
and now it is showing me a whole host of uh, uh, ideas. Uh, white are ones which I have read before, and the red ones are, are, are is my basically my unread box. So if I go to Bill Bill dot com, uh, it's a technology company in America. Uh, the signal has dropped, but the signal was generated on fifteenth of January. And since then, this company has generated 45% returns. That's a stunning kind of a return. And as you can see, the signal has moved up and down, and we report this every day. Uh, another very interesting feature is similar stocks, where you can see there are eight similar stocks. This is when uh, this app is working like Netflix. So if you have seen Like the Crown, chances are you, you will like Bridgerton. And now it is showing you similar stocks to Bill.com in case you are interested. It shows you the name. It shows you when the signal was generated and what the returns have been. And this is a pretty stunning performance. Every single idea except the two generated yesterday uh, have generated a positive return. Uh, and by the way, uh, we report accuracy regularly every day. You see the target button on the top next to the title. If I click on that, this shows me that this algo is running at 80% accuracy, generated 558 insights in the last 30 days at an average return of 5.3%. Now, 5.3% may not seem much, but remember, it is 30 days. So if you annualize it, uh, you know, th this is close to 60%. Um, let me come out of this. There are some other little things here. So there's a live info button. If you click on live info, it takes you to Google Finance. And then you can read up on news about the company and so on and so forth. You're still in the app, so you can easily come back. Uh, if you wanted to share it on social media or send it to a friend, there's a ton of stuff you can do. Uh, and you can send it on WhatsApp, on uh, email, text message, and so on and so forth. So lots of nice little cool features. Uh, so this is Alpha 330. Uh, let me show you value investing. And value investing is really a longer-term algo, which looks for companies whose fundamentals have not changed, but the price has dropped. So on the theory that this will, the price will bounce back, the mean reversion theory. And uh, let's see how it works. So again, I can sort and filter in any way I like. Uh, it's showing me the latest ones. Um, I want to see what is being most read by others. So now it is showing me the most read uh, insights. And uh, let me just pick, uh, you know, anyone at random. So I don't know who MEI is. So it's a company called Method Electronics, currently trading at 39.85. And its current valuation is at the fifth percentile of its 10-year trading history. So it's really at a low, low point of its history. Uh, the insight was generated on 16th of December, so it's been around for a while. But since then, it has already generated 5.9%. So if you had bought on 16th December at 37.64, you would have, have done well. Um, it also tells you whether this is a good company by comparing it against its sector. So it's ahead of 57% of its peers, and the rank is based on four criteria, which are, again, shown in a easy way to you. So then the question is that how quickly does the price bounce back? So we go to back testing, and this tells you that uh, this has happened. The breach of 20th percentile has fallen below the three times in the last two years. And had you bought every time, you would have made 3.2% return. And these are the times when it has happened before. So, uh, so as you can see, very similar representation, but in a Again, very easy to understand way. The third algo that I'm going to show you is what we call new age themes. Uh, this is where you invest in an idea rather than a single stock. And what it does is we, is we have created a bunch of pre-curated thematic baskets and uh, pre-curated ideas. And you can create your own basket if you like. So there's blockchain, there's cannabis, there's clean energy, there's cloud computing, there's COVID vaccine, etc., etc. It not only shows you stocks, but it also shows you ETFs. So if I take cloud computing, for instance, uh, it asks me, do I want to see 5, 10, or do I want to see all? So I said, okay, let me see all, 10. 
I can select the criteria uh, and so okay, show me historic returns, last 12 months returns. And now it shows me all the companies in this list. It also shows me an alpha score, which is the predictive score that we generate on the machine. So I can say, okay, I like uh, the high score one. So I take something that's 80, I take something that's 70. I pick uh, Z scale, uh, which is 72. And I select Shopify, which is 91. And I say, okay, give me Datadog and give me MongoDB, Mongo as well. So I've now selected my stocks and I can say monitor. Now it has created a basket which will then be monitored. I can see it on the home page under active monitoring. Let us go there. If I go to the home page and I open up active monitoring, these are some of the stocks I'm monitoring. I can monitor the stock or a basket. And uh, I will see the, uh, the uh, COVID vaccine, which I just, uh, sorry, cloud computing, which I just created. So let me look at it. And then it shows me all the companies. It also shows me if there are any live insights in the system on any of the names that I have checked. So it shows me there's something on Datadog and there's something on Net, who is Net? Net is Cloudflare. And uh, again, I can go into the company and I can sort of uh, see details. Um, again, it, it's a very familiar representation and it shows you. It also tracks this basket for you. So if at any time there are new stocks meeting your criteria, it will show you. Now, of course, we just created the basket, so there aren't any new stocks. Or if any of your existing choices fall below the criteria, it will again alert you. So think of it like your personal analyst tracking what you want it to track. Uh, so, it's, so it's quite a powerful sort of a thing. Uh, and there are other things in the ideas corner that I won't go into now, but uh, essentially it's really uh, useful, it's engaging, it's easy to understand. There are a bunch of features that help. There's Knowledge Center that has little videos on every algo, and you can click on the video and see what is about the algo is about. There's a glossary which uh, is very popular. People like to see definitions of terms, and uh, they like the fact that it's so easily available. So that's Investor AI. I hope you found that interesting. They say information is power, and it is. There are companies like Google who have created a global industry on the back of that single idea. I see no reason why that cannot happen in investments. There are firms like Robinhood who, through zero commission trading, have attracted a huge number of millennials into the equity market. But it is not zero commission trading. It is high quality information that will help them become responsible investors. At Bridgeweave, we believe that Investor AI gives you the best possible original research content in the world in a way that you can use it. I hope you agree. Thank you for your time.